It's Mooncake Festival, otherwise known as Mid Autumn Festival or Jong Chou's Year, and today we're going to be taste testing all these lovely mooncakes. Ooh, mooncakes. And we'll be starting with. So, our first mooncake flavour is Wur or Five Kernel. Most people don't like this, but it is one of the most traditional flavourings. Pumpkin seeds, dried winter melon seeds, walnut, almond, and What's that last one? Sesame. Old people like this apparently, but I don't know if that means I'll like it or not. Mmm, it's very dry, but it's nice, it's sweet. I don't know why you wouldn't like it. It's pretty nice. There's nothing wrong with this. It's great, it's brilliant. Mm. Again, it's wur, but this one's called lao wur, or old five kernel. Don't know the difference. Bigger, obviously, so I assume this one's going to be nicer. Oh, definitely drier. Sorry for talking with my mouth. But again, no idea why Chinese people don't like this. Dosha, um, red bean paste, another very traditional flavour. You might buy this if you're a foreigner and think, oh, chocolate, and then you eat it, you think, oh, not chocolate. It's pretty much got no flavour, it's just super dry. So I have to really eat another. Dan Huang Lianrong, which is lotus seed paste and egg. No idea why you put egg in a sweet. Can't really taste the egg, thank God. Slightly sweet, not much flavour. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's alright, not as good as we were. Dan Huang Zhaorong, delicious red date paste plus an egg. I'm assuming that this one is going to be a lot like all the other pastes, which, you know, not much flavour, very dry, a bit sweet, and for some reason you put an egg in it again. Great. This one is not very nice. Usually, I really like date flavoured stuff, so I'm assuming that the reason this is not nice is because there's an egg in the middle. It's got a horrible aftertaste. Oh, it's really bitter. Yeah. This is Shanda or Hawthorn. We don't have this in England. We do have this, we just don't eat it. But you eat it quite a lot. Tanghulu. And um, in the kindergartens, you give little Hawthorn flavoured sweets to the kids so they shut up. I mean, behave. I assume it's meant to be sweet. See how that goes. Mmm. It's got that really bitter, not bitter, tangy Hawthorn taste. Ugh. I actually don't like Tanghulu. Oh, it gets worse. Ugh. Finally, we're coming to a meaty one. Yun Tui, which I assume is Yunnan Huo Tui. Yunnan Ham. I'm not definite about that. Anyway, it's huge. It's probably salty. Probably quite greasy. A little, it looks a little bit greasy. It is bloody big. It looks a bit like an English pork pie, which is my favourite kind of food. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's a bit like a meal. It's a whole meal. Well, no, I really wouldn't want to receive this as a gift. Is you know, I think a lot about you. Here's a meat pie. And you see, that what's weird about that is, I was hoping for a pork pie, nice and savoury, and this is actually sweet. How have you done it? How have you made a meat, a meat pie sweet? Sugar. The more you eat it, the more meaty it becomes, which is weird because it's. Sweet, but meaty. Oh, the very final bit in your mouth. Just taste of ham. That's weird. It's time for black sesame hadramat. 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 It's another sweet one. It's black. I do like black sesame. This is a good one. Hadramat. Um, actually helps your hair maintain its dark colour. Not that my hair was going white. It's not. It's fine. But. This next one is a Bing Pi Mooncake, otherwise known as Snow Skin, and that's frozen glutinous rice, which gives it its white appearance. Now, inside, you can have lots of different flavours. This one, which I specially requested myself, is Nai Lao Chao Kali. Mmm. Now that's a good mooncake. Apparently, this originates from Hong Kong or Guangdong region, and then they put all different flavourings in, like green tea. That's very popular here. I'm going to stick with my milky chocolate. Mm. How many are left? Anger. 
Come on in. This next one is Zishu Shaiyao, or purple sweet potato and Chinese yam. It's quite hard though. Can definitely taste the um, sweet potato. Can't really taste the Chinese yam. It's got little hard bits in it. I don't know why it would have hard bits in it. Lots of hard bits. I'm not doing this. So, one of my favourite flavours, in theory, is this is nangua or pumpkin. I actually haven't tried this before. I've already had illusions shattered about previous flavours, which I thought I would like. So hopefully this one will be okay. It looks a lot like the lotus seed paste, just without that egg. So that's always a good start. Just taste of... Nothing. Doesn't taste of anything. Now these days, because people's tastes are different, they want more modern flavours. I don't know why. The traditional wu was the best I've ever had. Here's one example. This is a mocha or mocha flavour, mocha coffee. It's purple for some reason. Well, it doesn't take, taste like a mocha coffee. It doesn't really taste of coffee either. It's sweet. It's sweet. What a raging endorsement. So that's the end of our mooncake tasting session. Obviously, the best flavour was wu or lao wu I've heard that there are far more flavours, including liu lian, durian. Thankfully, I didn't have to try that today because it tastes like <laughs> Today, I ate 12 mooncakes in total. So if you're thinking stew looks fat this year, well, that's why. Okay, so I had to do this. Um, anyway, zhong tiao kuai le! Time for black sesame or hey do my bad, hey do my bad, hey do my bad, whatever. Rawr. Lawr.